Hi, Dad. I bet you're wondering why your musical hasn't started yet. I don't think you understand just how big of an impact you've had over these last 33 years. You take the ordinary and elevate it to extraordinary. You bring out the best in your students, and for three nights, you make them stars. You make something out of nothing. You provide laughter for a hurting world. Well, since this is your last show, we wanted you to know just how much this program has meant to so many. So who better to tell you than your own students? We reached out to former students and asked them to make videos for you, and the response was overwhelming. And there were so many videos that we simply can't show them all, or we'd be here until midnight. But don't worry, Dad. We'll let you see them all later. Enjoy! Clay Miller is a genius. He has an amazing way of allowing everyone to really find their true selves, especially on stage. What was that? Oh, the roles that I played to help find myself? Well, first I was a laundress. She was an old hag. And then I was a floozy. And then I was a floozy. And then I was a floozy. It was only a couple of weeks ago that someone asked me, do you have a background in stand-up comedy? And I said, no but I was in theater in high school. And this seemed to explain to them my entire personality. And that's because of you, Clay. Thank you so much for helping me become the person that I am, for teaching me skills that still are present today, even in my preaching. I'm so proud to know you. Thank you especially for our talks about my family after rehearsal. I really appreciate you. Congratulations. Clay, congratulations on your last show. And thanks for everything that you've done for me and for everyone involved in USC theater. Your time and commitment brought out the best in all of us and made a positive impact on so many over the years. Congratulations again and best wishes for your next adventure. And I want to say congratulations and thank you so much for your dedication to the theater program at United South Central. I know I will never forget my time uh, there on stage. I thoroughly enjoyed it and it's some of my best memories from high school. All I can think of is, look, the home. <laughs> I didn't know for sure where you were going to go with that right out at first. I just gave you a picture Clay. Oh. Yeah, I was just thinking about all, all the things that being in USC theater um, allowed people to do that uh, they didn't realize that they were capable of. Sweeping down the plane. And it was a lot of work. And it was all worth it because that... And it also kept us out of a lot of trouble, I'm sure cast party, wood party, that's where and I we get to, to play watch our video. Clay's guitar. Oh, you get to touch Clay's guitar? Yeah. He never let me touch his guitar. We just want to thank Clay for all that he's done throughout the years for the USC Theater Department. Teaching, inspiring, always believing in us and the talents we didn't even know we had. Thank you, Clay. You're going to be impossible to replace. If I was to think of one thing I learned in my time working with you, it's to be myself. And that might seem kind of strange coming from theater, where we don't play ourselves, we play characters. But yet, through my experience, from being a member of the chorus, through Bob Cratchit, through Will Parker, through Robin Hood, through Captain Von Trapp, I think you taught me to just put myself out there. And then I was a floozy. And then I was a floozy. Clay Miller really showed me that I have potential that I didn't even know was there. I really feel like if I hadn't done drama, I wouldn't be the person I am today. Clay really molded me into the person that I am. And I thank him every day for that. I'll never forget the time when Clay told me that, that I should pursue theater because I had a real gift for it. and. At school, it was a huge compliment knowing that you know somebody who has had so much experience told me that I had a gift for this thing that he's lived his life doing. USC drama was a key component in making me a more confident person. Thanks, Clay. How do you feel about Clay Miller? Um, Stand-up guy, right? Yes, yes, I agree. He was pretty awesome as a director. Have a wonderful retirement. Thank you, Clay, for introducing me to drama. And I say, I would have to say that you do an awesome job with the sets.
Uh, you may think I'm actually in front of one of Clay's old sets, but I'm not, although it's really hard to tell the difference. Uh, I just wanted to say, on behalf of the hundreds of students of lives you've touched and you've inspired a great love of the arts, thank you. How do you feel about Clay Miller retiring from the USC Drama Department? How do I feel? You ask how I feel. I'm not too shy to tell you, so I'll tell you how I feel. I feel very grateful, really honored to have acted under Clay. He would gladly give his talent for each musical and play. When I was asked to make a video for Clay's retirement, I was honored. I probably spent more time with Clay during my educational years than any other adult outside of my family. And um, his impact was big in my life. Clay, I can't even begin to describe all that I gained from being a part of the drama program at USC. Of course, I learned how to build a flat and cheat out from the audience. I also learned how to stretch myself out of my comfort zone and to have confidence, things that I've used throughout my life. But more importantly, you are a great example of a man with values, integrity, and humble leadership. I congratulate you on your decades of successful service to the community. Thank you for all that you've done. Participating in USC Drama really gave me a place to belong. It gave me a second family when I really needed it the most. Um, it was just, it gave me such a fun time in high school, and I always looked forward, it, forward to it in the beginning of the year and the end of the year. Long story short, USC Drama gave me the family that I always wanted. I, I still use what I learned uh, to this day at my job. Uh, being able to do presentations in front of large groups uh, basically comes back from when I first started in theater. Uh, I also have fond memories of being able to go and meet with friends and meet new friends. Uh, it was a great chance for us to get together, have fun, but then also come together and put on great performances. Uh, I'm very thankful for what I've gotten uh, from my past and to be able to utilize it today is still cherished. Being in USC theater, I'll always think back as the place I really kind of found out who I was and what I liked to do. The rest of school isn't always the best place to try to make people laugh or try to crack a joke or do anything like that. But with USC Theater, you have that creative outlet that you don't really know you need until it's there. And to be able to do that with all your friends nearby is some of the best memories I have of school. USC Drama is where I created some of my favorite high school memories. I truly cannot um, thank Clay enough for all the life lessons that he taught me throughout the years and for the time that I was able to spend on the stage. Um, the way that Clay is able to take a group of kids and create such a magical show um, every year is just an amazing gift. Um, thank you, Clay, for all the memories, and I wish you luck on the next chapter of your life. USC Drama wasn't just a place to go to. It was a place I learned. I learned about dedication and perseverance and that things might be a little bit stressful, but if you keep working through it, you will find the light at the end of the tunnel. But most of all, USC Drama taught me family, what it means to be a family and how to stick together no matter what, because that is what you need to do. Participating in USC Theater was a great creative outlet for me. It gave me the chance to perform in some of my favorite musicals that I watched constantly as a kid growing up. It gave me the opportunity to create some great friendships when you're spending so much time working towards that common goal of performing and entertaining, you create some great relationships with people. Hey Clay, this is Derek Fetty. I just wanted to congratulate you on your final production. Uh, over the years, uh, you've done an outstanding job of bringing out the best in everyone, myself included. Uh, just to help find characters within ourselves that, uh, you know, help the audience to, you know, to cry, to want to sing along, and even to, you know, as you so eloquently put it, bring laughter to a hurting world. So from the bottom of my heart and on behalf of everyone else, I just want to give you a big thank you and I wish you the best in the future. Hi, Clay. Happy retirement. First of all, I just want to say thank you for all your hard work and your dedication with so many USC theater students. Uh, as you know, it took me a while to get involved. That main reason was because I had uh, quite the case of stage fright. 
you helped me overcome that by casting me in the first play that I was ever involved in at USC, and that was my sophomore year. And uh, fast forward to 10 years, now I read the news to thousands of viewers in Southern Minnesota and North Iowa every morning. And then it was a floozy, and then I was a floozy. Theater for me was a way to express myself in high school. That was my outlet and my place, and I'm so happy that I was a part of it. I take everything that I learned and use it in my college life and in my work life now, working as a team, pushing harder. Clay taught me that I can sing a certain way, I can memorize so many lines, I can scrape paint off the floor at 10.30 p.m. Really, you have unlimited possibilities, and you learn that in theater, and I have Clay to thank. Thank you so much. I'm so proud and so happy that I could be a part of USC Theater for so long and to be under your direction. Long live USC Drama. I have many wonderful memories of theater at USC, but I think the thing that you carry with me always is what you used to tell us before every production, Clay. You'd tell us that we were meant to be laughter to a hurting world. And I just want to thank you for helping me to realize that my passion in life could be more than just a silly hobby. It could also be a mission and a ministry. Being involved in the theater department at USC was definitely one of the highlights of my high school years. And that was in a big part thanks to you, Clay. Um, you encouraged us in creativity, you helped us gain confidence, and you taught us that when we work together, we can accomplish great things and have a lot of fun doing it. You were a role model to all of us. And so for the bottom of my heart, thank you. And then I was a floozy. Performing with USC Theater literally changed my life. I found a second home, a second family, and I found myself. Clay taught me not only about the work of creating a show, but the magic that can come out of it. He taught me that theater brings laughter to a hurting world, which is something I take with me into every single show that I do now. USC Theater gave all of us a chance to shine, and I'm so grateful for my time there. Thank you for getting us out of our shells, and thank you for teaching us to be better people. I was able to participate in all four plays and all four musicals and it was the highlight of my high school career. I think we all knew how lucky we were to have Clay as our director. Thanks for all the memories Clay. I was involved in many of the plays and uh, musicals with Clay as our director and I attribute a lot of that experience to helping me grow and eventually become an educator myself. Um, jumping in with both feet has kind of been my motto and that's exactly what you do when you're in theater. So thank you, Clay, for helping me grow and become the person I am today. I was in every production Clay put on while I was in high school, but I was super duper shy, so I rarely had any speaking lines, which I was completely fine with. As an adult, though, I'm not that quiet. <laughs> Clay, I wanna thank you for doing the good work, for providing such outstanding productions and an amazing, encouraging, uplifting atmosphere where kids can flourish. It was life-changing for kids, including me. So thank you so much, and thank you to Clay's fam family for sacrificing so much time with him so that he could make such a big impact. Thank you, Clay. Theater was the most fun and influential thing that I did at USC. Thank you, Clay, for inviting God into our performances. It was so necessary. How else could we have pulled off such amazing productions. And if you must retire, um, all of us need to start praying now for your replacement because the show must go on. I have so many incredible memories from my time with USC Theater, but I think especially those moments when a role really clicked and I was able to fully become the character that I was performing and how much joy that brought me. So thank you, Clay, for your patience and guidance and the many years that you invested into our program. I'm so thankful for you. It was hands down the best part of my high school experience. I loved everything about it. I still remember the lyrics to the songs and the words. Uh, Clay was absolutely dedicated and artistic and magical. And it was a beautiful experience. When I think back on my time in the drama department at USC, I think of all the fun times we had, all the hard work that we did, and all the great leadership that we had from our director, Clay. We certainly could have done the things that we did without him. 
Clay, I wish you nothing but the best, and thanks for everything that you've done for all of us over the years. You'll truly be missed in the drama department at USC. Thank you just is not the right word. It's way more than thanks. You've been just a true blessing to the USC community and to so many students through a whole generation, really. And you've inspired us to be people and to do things that we never thought possible in your shows and beyond that as well. So uh, it's really, really just a true miracle and a blessing what you've done over the course of your career. When I think about what USC theater and specifically what Clay Miller has done for me, um, I immediately think of what's behind me. This is my English classroom, as I am now an English teacher. Um, and I can say with complete confidence that I would not be here doing the job that I get to do today if not for uh, USC Theater and specifically for uh, Clay. Um, Clay, you, you gave me the confidence to stand on stage and be other people in front of other people. Um, and uh, I certainly wouldn't have the confidence to stand in front of high schoolers um, and teach them if you hadn't taught me that. So um, I owe you a ton. I also teach the Christmas Carol every winter, so obviously my very curriculum would be uh, different if not for uh, USC Theater. So thank you so much, Clay, for everything. Hi, Clay. I just wanted to take a moment to congratulate you on your legacy that you uh, have here in the community with USC Theater, uh, the students you impacted, the laughs we got to share, uh, the opportunities that you presented to the kids. It's just something that's meant a lot to so many people, myself included. Um, Beyond high school, I was still involved in theater, uh, and I got so many opportunities that no other area presented me, and I had a blast doing it. So I thank you so much for all that you did for us. Um, there are definitely some memories that I'll never forget. And there's other one more thing that I know I'll never forget, and that is the family of the Cratchit family, which you had every cast member drill me on in the hallway the day of the performance, because for some reason I couldn't remember them all. But I do know that Martha, Belinda, Jillian, Miranda, Peter, and Tim will miss you as well. My fondest memories of high school will always be with USC drama. All of the hours we spent in the auditorium, in the music rooms, building sets. Well, okay, I didn't build as many sets as other people. That's because I was the choreographer. His clay knew that I was clearly cut out to be telling people what to do and nobody else wanted to do it. But I'll never forget those memories. I'll never forget opening night and the magic that filled the air, the excitement, the buzz, the electricity. There's nothing like it. You can't find it anywhere except on an opening night. And now that it's the end of an era, I can only imagine what it feels like right now. So thank you, Clay, for all of your years that you've dedicated to USC drama and to all of us kids, now adults with kids, you really made an impact on all of us. And we really do appreciate everything that you did. Congratulations. Enjoy your retirement. Hey, Clay. Thank you for all the things you've taught us. Thank you for all the memories that we will cherish forever. Just want to say thank you so much for everything that you have done for me throughout the years. It's insane to think back on everything that we've been through. Um, it's incredible, the work that you've done, and can't thank you enough for helping to foster my love for the arts and for all of your service that you've done for the Wells community. It's truly spectacular, and yeah, you deserve to have a big party. Congrats! Being in USC theater, and more specifically under Clay's guidance, ever patient, provided structure during years of tremendous emotional upheaval. I probably would not have made it through high school if not for USC theater. Thank you, Clay. One of the most amazing things that I've taken from USC drama is the feeling when you're standing in front of the audience at the end of a show and they're applauding for something that you have put 
time and effort, usually some sweat and some tears and lots of laughter into making something that they can be taken away from the pain and the hurt in their life, if only momentarily, and that you gave joy to them, that you were able to share that joy with somebody, is a feeling that I hope everybody gets to experience someday. And USC Theater made that happen. The expectation for excellence was clear from the moment we stepped onto the sets at USC. While it might not have been a conscious thought, there was always at least an understanding that being on an impressive set required excellence in acting, and building the sets ourselves gave us a greater ownership of the things we did. I'm sure Clay lost more than a little hair trying to work around playoff pep band, concerts, cross-country meets, ball games, and everything else, but ultimately, it was the students who benefited. Finally, I want to recognize the balance and juggling that Clay has done for many years. It can't have been easy holding a full-time job, directing three shows per year, raising four children, maintaining a marriage, and still finding time to keep faith and family at the center. Sharon, Kristen, Tammy, Jill, and Joey, I also want to thank you for sharing Clay with us. And Clay, in your own words, thank you for supporting USC Theater. Some of the most fond memories of my high school career were from Clay Miller's theater program. I always leaned toward the behind the scenes technical work, set construction, lighting, sound, that type of stuff. And of course, computerized digital playback of all the sound effects. But Clay Miller pushed me to not only excel behind the scenes, but in everything I did. He encouraged me to audition for the productions as well. Clay, you cast me in one of the oleos for the melodrama, Dirty Work in High Places. I want to go out on the road with me. <laughs> I still remember falling off the bench after Emily had clobbered me repeatedly with her handbag. <laughs> After attending Waldorf College and being involved in theater there, it still gave me great joy to come back to USC Theater there, to help out backstage and develop friendships with many of the new theater students who came into the program after I left. Clay, you have an absolute dedication to enriching the lives of all of the theater students at USC. You genuinely care for all of us, and that shows in every aspect of your leadership from the undeniable quality of the productions to personally praying for the cast and crew before each and every performance. Your great humility and true servant leadership are the most memorable things for me, looking back on my days in USC theater. Clay, thank you for showing us what true dedication can accomplish. And thanks for teaching us skills that we can use in and out of performance. I remember my first tryout with Clay when we all had to sing Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Somewhere. I impressed him so much with that that I was given four words to say during the production. And Martha's missing too. Which then he cut down to two words. So is Martha. But in all seriousness, anyone who's been a part of any of Clay's productions uh, still carries a load of great memories with them. Set building or deconstruction, messing around in the booth, rap parties in Clay's basement. You've forever touched all of our lives, Clay. Thank you for everything, and enjoy old age. And now for something completely different! Enjoy Clay Miller's last show here at USC. Shrek the Musical!